Hello, ladies, gentlemen, welcome Boys back. Boys and girls. Boys and girls. Kids. Grown-ups. Old people. Seniors. Young people. What's out there? <laughs> Animals. There's a lot of people watch Dota with their pets, Winter. Do you no. watch with your your dog? No. I see people post pictures like, oh, my cat's a team. Those are my cat's a team liquid. My dog red. keeps me company, but they don't. They don't care. They care about the snacks I put on the table. Oh no, my my dog's a, a big EG fan. <laughs> trust trust me, I know. Why? I don't know. He just like loves watch EG. Does EG look like some snack that you mm. give him? The logo? I don't know. Well. Everyone out there watching, you're in for a treat. It's EG versus Fnatic. Kind of one of the top teams versus one of the bottoms. I say a treat because Fnatic are fighting for their lives, Winter. They're dead if they lose. No, they're yeah. not dead. They're just out of the event. You know. They're free to play more events. <laughs> <laughs> if they stick to They're dead in the context of this tournament. But yes, you're right, Dan. We don't actually... There's no... No brutality here at TI7. We're, we're a friendly bunch. But I don't think EG are going to be going friendly against Fnatic here as they need a win to secure a winner bracket slot. Just one of the two games is enough for EG to end up in the top half of the bracket. They may just want to 2 0 Fnatic. They may want to knock them out. But if they're, two, if they're 2 0, they have a chance of second place, right? Of a different opponent. Yeah, a different opponent. They have a, in theory, they have a chance of first place, but that's only if Liquid lose. Um, and LGD also lose or draw, so I think first place is, while possible, very unrealistic. Mm -hmm. Liquid is top for a reason. I don't think they're going to lose to Secret, personally, but never know. Anything can happen, Parker. So can happen. E EG with their Earthshaker opening, they like the like, yeah. Earthshaker, Pucks. Hey, this hero can go off lane. Hey, it can go mid. mid. Hey, can it go, go support. support. <laughs> Puck we've seen actually, yeah, do support mid and off lane. Oh, shake! I don't, I don't know if they've run the support shaker at this tournament, but you can, you can, exactly. That's the thing. If you need to, and that's the, the danger thing with the shaker. We've seen drafts where teams thought it was going to be an off lane shaker, and that there was a mid hero for Sumail there. I think it was the Marana shaker game they played, and then suddenly Marana's off lane, shaker's mid, and this Ember spirit is getting crushed mid because of it because Ember thought he had an, a matchup versus Marana. So, the flexibility is definitely key here as EG pick a hero that's not quite as flexible but very powerful in its own right, the Lycan. Yeah, Fnatic on the other hand have a very... pretty much set in stone duo. Nice locker Rubik, this will be very likely their support duo. Febby get... Oh, sorry, DJ gets to be a big playmaker though. That's got to excite some of the uh, Fnatic and SEA Dota yeah, fans. Yeah, they swap roles, right, the previous series. Uh, they... Oh, really? re they return DJ to... Maybe, I'm not sure if it was because of the hero, but DJ was playing position for, he was the conquer. Yeah, saw, in the last, what, the last series yesterday? I saw DJ playing an Earth Spirit too, which was maybe just like, oh, maybe... Earth Spirit, might, Earth might, Spirit be, it might be the hero, but I, I remember they didn't pick Earth Spirit for a long time because Fabi got, uh, got put into the position for and he doesn't play Earth Spirit. So maybe things have changed now for Fnatic since they are in a position where if we don't do something, <laughs> we are done. I mean, DJ, I, I mean, a five-position Rubik is kind of like a five-position playmaker. I just feel like that's going to naturally suit him a bit more. But the movement, you know, it's like the position for like so many games we casted. It's position four against position four. The Romers against each other, each other in on their opposite teams. Yep. How how many lanes can you secure? Your movements will be really crucial. Being at the right place at the right time. Rune control. How many ru uh, bounty runes that you can deny? There's so many things that it's going to change. You know, just by the position for movement. Yeah. And you think Fabi has not you, you lived might up not, to the expectations? You of might not role? need so much gold. You know, like if you compare like Nice Talker Rubik, Rubik needs more gold. But then again, it doesn't mean that whatever the Rubik is going to do with gold is more significant than the Night Stalker. Night Stalker still has a very, very important job in the first uh, first ten minutes, until yeah. the second night phase. I'd say those are the strong timings of the Night Stalker. Here we go, Fnatic third pick, Faceless Void. I hope it's not a mid void, but you know, <laughs> that did not work out well from last time, but. They since picked Void, and I think it was a higher player in the off lane. Yep. So, more likely than not, they. I mean, it's flexible. You can go all three lanes as a core. You've got to Technically, imagine. Technically, you can. Rubik, Night Soccer will be the support duo, you've got to imagine. They're going to need more, like, damage. Like, set up here. Like, set up spells. Like, the Chrono is going to set up spells into. Like, for his team, right? So, you're oh. right now, the Night Soccer and Rubik. Naga Siren is a Void counter because of the song. You Chrono, then. 
this yep. song. Like yeah, o- OG and EG are the two teams that always do this when the opponent picks uh, faces void. Oh, different in that might EG be, play the Naga as might, support. This, I think this is a support, yeah. yeah. They, they ran as support earlier. Uh, I mean, I say earlier, it was yesterday. Because but... RTZ is the Lycan player and he's the Naga player too. You also don't... Lycan with Naga, it seems like. Lycan's a hero that wants to play faster, push buildings. Naga wants to play slower. Mm-hmm. Doesn't care about pushing. Unless you are a support Naga that buys Mac and Agonims, then you fit into the Lycan place, yeah. Oh yeah. That works. Or Mac, Solar Crest, just whatever yeah, you need to help the team. Support items. It was, uh, I want to say, Zai playing the Naga yesterday. So that's the damage into the Chrono and some combination with uh, the Night Vision, Luna and Stalker. Luna is currently the hero with the most picks that is still 100% win rate. It's yeah, only... but you have so few games that yeah, the 100% exactly. win rate doesn't... It's three games. <laughs> <laughs> so they have uh, a Mirana pick something. Uh, this is probably the Sumail hero. Like well, Sum- again, it's that flexibility. You know, if they pick a mid hero, they, they did, had this exact duo, yeah. Shaker, Mirana. This, this could be their offlane hero too, yeah. right? <laughs> they did the Mirana offlane. If, if the Shaker has a good mid matchup, they will put Sumail mid on it. If you pick an Ember, if you pick a hero that Shaker can pummel, be prepared for that mid shaker, and that's exactly what EG did yesterday against. I want to say it was it was against Infamous. Tomato yeah. was playing the uh, the mid Ember Spirit in that game. They have a lot of uh, like really good setup for the arrow now. Yep. The song, the and snare, the fissure. So it was just, it was that exact lane. It was a Naga Marana off lane in that game as well. Yeah, it's a very strong lane because Naga is very powerful at level one. So if anything, you have a weak lane. A uh, Rubik Luna is like uh not. It's not like weak but it's not like super strong it's okay it's somewhere, in the, somewhere in between yeah. somewhere in between if they think that they can pressure the lane maybe they would consider doing that but it, it depends on the mid matchup interesting they ban the nature's profit i mean at this point if you're fanatic you just have no idea where what the role of some of these heroes are like is this naga core support, yeah because they're thinking of heroes that the lycan how can benefit the most like yeah. the summoners the visage is banned the nature's profit now gets banned the heroes that can have a lot of summons uh Still brood, right? But yeah. It, I'm. I mean, if we're talking about the Marana Shaker's cause, then we are looking at a support last pick for yeah. Grit, presumably. But there is flexibility. We could see the Shaker. I mean, in technically, you, support. you can see. do support Shaker and support, support Naga. Support Marana even works. You know, yeah. that's a lot of things they can do. It is very much the trend with EG's draft is this. Enigma of where these heroes are going, who and what and where the, these heroes go in terms of lanes and farm distribution. And even after they picked all five, you sometimes still don't know. That's the, the beauty of it. That's how they kind of take away uh, the advantage. Because Fnatic have last pick of the overall draft. So Fnatic have an edge in the draft by getting to see the entire draft and pick their final pick. EG, though, have heroes that they can suddenly say, well, no, we're actually going to do something different despite. Um, not having that final pick of the draft. So they kind of take away that last pick advantage by doing these flex picks. That That is like a, a good point. Still a good point, but uh, still having the overall last pick still definitely in a lot of ways that you can still pick a last pick that's very hard to yeah, yeah, to deal yeah. with. Like regardless of how you change your lanes, you know. They'll get the support. Uh, so, so it will be the Shaker Marana course. Presumably, Naga, I guess, uh, could be a core, but... You expect Shaker Marana to be the I, mid and the off laner. Yeah, I guess the one that makes the most sense, so I think the best is that. The Naga, position 4, Disruptor, position 5, or Shaker off lane, Marana mid. Yep. Then you have that well, uh, combo setup, Naga plus Disruptor. Very, very strong. We saw TNC use it uh, in this event. Then we have uh, OG that likes to use it a lot, Naga, Disruptor. Pretty much like the strongest, uh, one of the strongest combos with Naga. When you get Aghanims on <laughs> the Disruptor, pretty much. <laughs> Easy team fight. You get a good song off. So how does Fnatic react to this? They're, I think, pretty much going to be Void off lane, Luna carry, unless yeah, they're going to do some mid Void, which I'm not a big fan of. But. Need Cures Hero. Perhaps some damage for the Cronus Hero, though they have got some potential Luna Eclipse or right clicks if positioned well. <laughs> Sky off Mage, huh? <laughs> what would what would be the QO pick here? I, uh, he always like he plays a PA, PL, all those kind of heroes. So. Timbersaw. Ah, Timbersaw, yeah, this is a kill here. here. This is a kill here. Timbersaw is good against uh, the Lycan. And Sumail does pick up the Shaker. So he wants the mid lane, the melee versus melee matchup. The Mirana will be likely be Universe's hero for off lane. This is the I'm, same laning setup they I'm did run to think, yesterday. Does, how, how does Timber, even though it's a strength hero, does Timber actually 
do really well because Earthshaker against melee is also very strong yeah. with the engine. But I guess Imagine in the end, Timber is still gonna have a. Upper once hand. he gets like a couple points in reactive armor, Timber should have be fine. It's more that maybe level one, level two where yeah. Shaker can. Then it's gonna be lot. down to the position force again, like the Night Stalker against the Dinaga, oh. like who's gonna be able to. In my mind, Night Stalker wins most of the battles of position force. Yeah, they're, they're both like uh, high armor, but Night Stalker has the uh, the region. The more region. Well, and they're high armor, but it's more like they're going to be harassing the mids too. Like QO has regen, he's got high armor as well, so he's not as worried about the Naga. Whereas Shaker, <laughs> hara Shaker getting harassed, he's perhaps a bit more there's, vulnerable. There's so much nighttime things going on here. Night Stalker Luna, then there's the Lycan. Yeah. We're actually seeing this quite a bit where the Lycan is picked up kind of as a counter to the Night Stalker opener, where it's like, you pick ni Night Stalker, it's going to be nighttime? Great, we're going to take Lycan. Lycan's a good hero regardless, and now you it's nighttime? Even better. And the Rubik steals your how. Actually Whoa. legit this game. Yeah, that's true. actually legit because of the night things. What a like darkness night phase. There's a fission to steal this game. Arrow. Oh, it's actually a really good ruby game. Yeah, so many good spells. Naga sleep, disruptor, glimpse, uh, static. Yeah, yeah. There's a the, lot of a lot spells. of uh, a lot of good spells here for the ruby this game. So let's see if ruby uh, DJ comes up big this time. So Fabi's gonna TP out. It's gonna get a gonna want to get a deep ward down. Um, not that deep, but this is a pretty good wall for the offlaner in most cases. You are going to want to see if the Naga is coming back. Because if Naga has an early point in Ensnare, they have a very good chance of killing, killing the Void in the lane. Ensnare and the Disruptor. So, let's see. They have... Oh, they read it. They actually... Oh, yeah, they have a... They saw him they walk saw past him just now. They saw him walk back, so... They more or less feel like it's going to be, be either around the bounty area or this spot. Yeah, so they, they can deal with either spot since they knew where he walked. And Febby actually messed up. He tp to the tower instead of the shrine, so he actually was very oh, late to Oh, okay, I didn't down. notice that. No wonder, yeah, it was, no wonder uh, they were in time. So, he, right now, RTZ is down here. So he... What are they thinking? Why is the Lycan here? They, are they trying to... Lane. Wait, are they, are they to expecting a Luna aggro, like Luna Rubik aggro tri lane? No, uh, or? They see, right? Out. They have this ward. They do see Timbersaw and not. Isn't, the... isn't Lycan. I, I, I think Lycan's fine though against Void. You don't. Huh, that's there, he's going back top now. I maybe, think... Yeah, maybe he was thinking the Luna might come aggro lane. Exactly. Yeah, they were yeah. expecting the aggro lane. They realize it's not, so now they're back to the expected. Yeah, yeah, lanes. yeah. You're right, you're right. Because previously, the Night Stalker came in and put a, quite a ward to help out the laning phase, so maybe they were. They were thinking, oh, they might come aggro because they are having these kind of wards here. So, re fairly reasonable, and their lanes are quite strong. Night Stalker, Rubik, and Luna, if you put these three together. Definitely, the lane I'm looking forward to watching is going to be this QO vs Sumail mid matchup. The battle of the flashy mids. A kind of unconventional matchup, but a matchup where they're going to be getting in each other's face quite a lot. Melee on melee, Timber vs Earthshaker. It's going to be quite the lane. Bottom lane, so uh, Fnatic have decided to have three heroes down here to deal with the pressure of the... This lane is very strong, Mirana plus Naga Siren. Very, very strong, so they decided that they need three here and Q is going to be alone against the Shaker and Void should be fine. Top lane against the, yep. the Lycan plus Disruptor melee hero. I would imagine Timber will be just fine yeah. against the Shaker. Void, Void should be able to get quite a good amount of uh, farm and oh, X yeah. XP from against, this lane. Against the dual lane. He got pulled extra tangos and started with oh, the poor man shield. He got pulled. He had six tangos with the poor man shield. Yeah. That's a uh, you know. <laughs> I guess they were expect they knew he'd be up against a dual lane, so even just having two extra tangos could make a big difference. Such is life, you know. Off lane, off lane. is no longer the uh, <laughs> sacrificial lane. You're your carry lane. I mean, if you're a void, sure. Yeah. Right now, CS wise, you can see pretty even. Timbersaw with a very slight edge, Luna maybe so slightly ahead of Lycan, but all lanes being very hotly contested. DJ does push forward it's here at bottom. The knife face is gonna oh, make... lift into the tower. They get the arrow onto the Luna, but the lift is there, and Zai will pay with his life. Good bait from DJ. He knew that the aggression was coming and waited till they were close. Yeah, he didn't lift right lift. away. He was just waiting for the right moment until yeah. EG committed 100%, so he could have... Uh, he could leave him to the tower and get that few shots. Always have to be careful against the Rubik. Even if you're outside of tower range, like you can get pulled in and brought down, as we just saw. Mm -hmm. So... Oh, uh, Ayo's got the orb of Venom. He's bullying Arteezy. This top lane is 
Going yeah, so but well once Lycan gets uh, his points in, I always talk about this, the Feral yeah. Impulse, then the lane is pretty. That, that level he's gonna three, be fine. Is that, that second point oh, is DJ, where... gonna go down here. The pressure is still a, a very heavy from the Mirana Naga. A lot of kill potential. I think Fnatic, you wanna wait for Night Phase. Once your Night Phase kicks in, then the Night Stalker can maybe be... But the, then the same thing can be said for EG. Then the Howl will be able to give double HP to the, to the other lanes. Oh, Hayo in trouble. No time walk. He tried oh, to no. he tried to go for the kill on crit. Bottom but the Howl... Well. Looks like they may be considering a kill onto Zai's Naga Siren. It's Fnatic. Get oh, arrowed up, one more right click. Was, Arjit, that arrow play. was important. If Universe. Nice Stalker was. Oh, mid lane QO, very, very low here. Has the sick charge, he's trying to bait Sumail. But Sumail with a bottle heals himself back up. I mentioned how exciting yeah, this, this mid lane, lane can this, be. This lane is actually very contested. They're both going to be low health constantly. They're both farming well. They're both farming on low health often. And Timbersaw's a hero that really relies on those reactive charges if he can't get them. Could be in some trouble, Sumail's looking for the kill. Yes, stick no, charges, he's fine, he's fine. He yeah. wants back in, Sumail hoping for a four minute rune, you could imagine. Bottom lane, DJ again being gone on the lift into arrow combo. They've got another kill on him, but will they pay the price? It does certainly look like it's Zai gonna go down. There is a cost for this one, and crit TPing mid, refilling the bottle. Good selfless play coming in from the Disruptor who had to make... I believe after getting the kill top, he just had to make a fountain trip, so... Helping in oh. mid lane goes well. Ooh, for very Chad. close. If he was able to get another enchant, thank you all. Even there, he got another totem off and gets him down low, but 15 reactive charges giving him 22 armor. This QO will salve up. It is almost dead even between these two mids. 3 CS lead for Sumail. Febby getting low here at the bottom rune. Okay, Naga. so night time kicks in. Let's see <laughs> if the Night Stalker or the Lycan can actually give his team the bigger advantage in the laning phase. Yep. The Howl right now is 200 extra HP, so that's a huge deal. Um, so we'll see how they yep. how they try to make it help the other lanes. Feels like this mid lane stabilized. Like Timber can't really be killed now that he's got level three reactive. Shakers. Not really. Uh, Maybe at level, level six. six. I think we'll level see. six. Yeah, level six is possible. Would, would need a Night Stalker rotation, I imagine, and it will be a Night Stalker TP mid. Just level two on Febby though. Level three soon. Three soon. He may look to lead some experience. Now he's gonna actually swing back towards bottom. He just wants to place a ward right now. So where's the new ward for EG? EG? Oh, they place it on the safe lane. They place an extra ward there. So one thing to secure the Lycans in. The Lycan is like pretty much okay now. Like like I said, level five is the point where you can't really do much to the li to the Lycan anymore if he goes for the three points in the Feral Impulse. As an offlaner, you you basically can't stop him from farming. Too much regen, you can't trade. So the Void has decided to move around, try to control. Lane Echo Slam QO and two male going head to head. The Echo was not quite enough. QO had the uh, rain drop. drop. Yeah, help save his life and. QO barely survives. Sumail also getting very low. Both mids do have shrines to play and around. Rain drops. <laughs> they're just and basically eat. They're just throwing the same spells thing. at each other. It's like they're in a fucking gladiator arena. Just like, oh, I'm going to punch you. I'm going to punch you back. Oh, we're both alive still. Nobody actually oh, yeah, wins. But, but Sumail has Howl. So he it's definitely going to be uh, harder yes. to kill. That was likely coming into play on that one. 200 HP, bro. Well. So six minute rune. Uh, Fabi's gonna be able to get a haze. Yep, it's not bad. And big, big thing here is just keep denying these runes from the Shaker. Those, that's where the playmaking comes in. Fabi though, very under leveled still because of this tri lane down bottom. Yeah. He's only level two. We see this often sometimes with oh, his Oh, arrow. Position. How? How damage? Okay, kill. Off, yeah. I feel like Fabi often sacrifices himself too much for the team. He's level two, six and a half minutes in. It is nighttime and you want to be active, but you also want to be like level three, level four. When you start getting making those moves, oh, here comes Crit. Crit's moving towards the mid lane, as does the Night Stalker. Crit is actually oh, going to drop a ward, and Febby should be able to get this kill. He has a TP though. He can TP now. Maybe another. Oh, the <laughs> <laughs> he killed the tree. <laughs> okay, unintentionally, of course. <laughs> that's right. You know, that's uh, <laughs> things. Things happen. Dota can be a very comical game. With I don't think he, he didn't mean to like, he's just like, uh, yeah, yeah, it's definitely unintentional. Of course. Now, getting low, but likely kind of 
We'll just to bait out some spells here and does have the shrine to fall back to. So I believe that is phase boots picked up. Wanting that movement speed burst against the, the chakram slow and just to get away and getting getting close for a nice oh, totem it, stun. It's the like the burst as well with the damage. Yeah. It's quite strong. I think I, I, I personally kinda like Universe the Universe is here, they want to kill QO, but he doesn't get the first totem. If he hit that stun, there would have been an arrow to follow it up. I personally like the the face boots as well. Like, I know most most of the players go the the threats. Yeah, you get more. You the get good damage tanky, with the totem, and then you have the the talent as well. So on top yeah. of that, so you become really really tanky. It smells not about surviving. He wants he wants to. If I so. kill you first, why do I need to survive? Yeah. <laughs> Very much the smell approach. A higher level six now on void. Yep. Not necessarily going to be able to get kills on his own. He may look to yeah. team up. Okay, it's daytime. So the rune on shaker, by the way. First kill up bottom, they get one, they return from Arjun, he's got an Eclipse here, what can he find with the Naga Illusion? Probably not a whole lot, so male solo kill onto QO mid. We double damage, that. yeah double lane. damage. And, yeah, double damage with an Echo Slam, talk about the danger of that rune when you picked it up. Finds, we look away for one second, I've been watching this mid lane so closely and... <laughs> imagine QO may have not been expecting the Echo to come back up already, but... That was a good solo kill and puts... In a strong position. So pretty much, I think you can consider uh, all the lanes be uh, really good. For, what destroyed the party's building pipe of insight? <laughs> is, is this is a uh, eternal envy call what? out? Who? Envy loves his pipe, you know. Where? Who, who's building pipe? Ah, Teasy jokes. You, you see the chat? <laughs> oh, like I got so confused when you said that. I'm like, huh? No. What? Probably just alluding to the fact that Envy loves to build the item and just built Pipe of Inside on uh, an uncon. Who was he playing in that last game? Uh, some unconventional here he got Pipe on. He gets Pipe on. <laughs> he loves Hood and Pipe. I mean, it's a super value item, but it's the survivability item. Uh, he's a player who has the approach where he wants to survive more than he wants to kill his enemies. Because if I'm alive, I can do damage. Whereas for Sumio, if I kill you first, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Two very different mindsets, both with their own merits. How important is it for a hire to actively look to use this Krona right now? Or yeah, he's the only person that can make something happen right now. He needs to try and... You know, it's like not only sometimes waiting for a team to set up something, like it's also about taking initiative to try and put yourself in a position where the Krona can be usable. He, right now he's like more, like more, more I feel like waiting to react to something happening. He's been holding his TPs for a long time. He hasn't been moving yep. to other lanes. I think a Chrono on the Luna's lane with Eclipse just pretty much going to be yeah. kill or even a Timber thing. He uh, knows he might be in some trouble. He does spot Zion with the Sentry Ward though and chains away from the Earth Shaker who was coming in to so look to bring him down. Kyo just chasing that Naga out of his lane. It's mid lane looking very dangerous. He's a bit lowish on health and doesn't have the reactive up for the time being. Still, like from the laning phase, first 10 minutes, uh, EG definitely going to be very happy about the outcome. And here comes, finally comes the Void. He's going to want to use his first Chrono with his team. Uh, there won't be night time for another minute and 20, and Fabi is still not level 6, so he won't have his Darkness available. They want to go bottom because this is the tower plus one. They want the uh, the, the kill plus one. They want the kill huh. and the tower. They, they could have actually gone mid. Oh, just EG are ready for this. They, they actually TP like and they, they scan themselves. I don't think so. No, he didn't see or hear a scan. Void is ready for this one. EG are trying to go on the Luna, but they may pay the price. Febby pops out. Chrono. Here comes the Chrono. RTZ barely outside of it. Throws the Howl to try and help Universe out. Universe very tanky with the Treads Bracer. Oh, the Static Storm. Arjit could knock it off the Eclipse. He's going to get brought back now by Eclipse. May need to just throw that Eclipse, but there's just too many targets to go, and he's going to hold the ultimate, and EG bring five bottom kill well, two. Well read. Like, you see all these movements all the time. The carry moving to the opposing carry's uh, lane to try and create a situation, but maybe EG already understood that Void's not in the lane for some time. So, very likely going Major to bottom. Into Arrow. Uh-oh. <laughs> Got the totem, and there should be enough damage. There's the root. The echo sign being used as well. They want to get QO. He's not going to be able to outheal it, and that is another big kill going EG's way. QO has, at this point, well and truly lost the mid lane matchup. Even though he's farmed decently, the, the deaths going Sumail's way have led to a 12 minute blink dagger. 
more or less. Second night phase kicks in, but night phase the night phase feels like <laughs> the Lycan can do more. <laughs> yeah, because of the how. He's helping them so much with the how. Like night stalker, it's very difficult for him to kill. Yep. He's got a yeah 200 HP heal boost. Dude, it's not only heal boost, it's damage. Yeah. You get you get damage. Rip Chen. Level two how better than Chen level one old. Oh, isn't the isn't the level one out better now? They they buffed it. They slightly. buffed it by like twenty five, right? <laughs> just just, so, just so it's better than the how. Yeah, just so well better than level two how. What about level three how? Bottom lane, Lycan gonna get a kill in the void. That was with the disruptor's aid. As QO trying to finish off this mid tower. Here come EG disruptor with a potential static storm. Wants this kill, QO. Needs to be careful, there's a Blink Shaker, I don't know, oh he doesn't actually have the Blink yet, but the Static Storm, uh, Mail's there as well. He was so cocky, Kyo. He's not actually dead just yet, oh he gets glimpsed back up as he Timber Chain. He was so cocky, dude. And that's Kyo's playstyle. You see a dis Disruptor and he didn't even think and he like, ran forward, and yeah. he ran forward, he didn't think that they were trying to kill him. He actually did not think they were trying to kill him. <laughs> well, Fnatic find themselves in a lot of trouble. They are bleeding kill after kill right now as EG find towers to go with these pickoffs. Lycan was able to push down the bottom lane. Fnatic trying to respond up top. Their first efforts at bottom did not succeed with their smoke and unfortunately for them, Lycan is already at the, the tier 2. Oh, bot lane. Kyo might be in trouble again. Sumio has a dagger. They're going to see him oh. and be like, Oh, Kyo, you, you want to come back? Hey. Oh, we'll, we'll maybe kill you again. I'll shake her. Not gonna rotate just yet. It, it, he might be waiting for Echo. Echo is up in yeah. 15 seconds. Doesn't spot perhaps the rest of the Fnatic lineup who have smoked towards this mid lane. This may be on the chopping block. At least that's the target Fnatic want to go. And he's quite tanky with this Treads drums build. And he's already taken the tower. Chronosphere does barely catch a mid leap. They'll make sure they get the one kill. QO says, Still, I'll take that one. That's, that's not too bad for EG. They got the tower and they lost uh, position 3 with Eclipse, Chronosphere. I yep. think it's it's more <laughs> it's more EG favored, if anything. They got the tower and they traded two big ultimates. And right now, let's see what can EG do here. They have a level 2 Necro Book. Mm. Can they push down any more towers? They should be able to pressure a tower oh, right away. QO. Don't do it, QO. Don't do it. He doesn't have reactive armor up. He has Vanguard though. Yeah. I think they need one more hero here to kill. Okay. Slam, that's a lot of creeps. The arrow yeah, is there. Yeah. There's the plus one. There's a plus one, plus two, plus three. Yeah. That, that's <laughs> plus four. Whole team rocks up, you know. <laughs> it's QO, They've got you know? five man here. They'll they'll take down QO. He's the big playmaker. They know it. Arjit's found as well. And with the Mask of Madness for extra movement speed, he Whoa. will lose some of his Look armor. At the damage. Luckily, Rubik is there. Uh, Steals the shape shift yes, after he leaps. Limps back, he's still very fast. DJ, the little baby Lycan, locked in place by the ensnare, and they will kill him, but he saves the Luna in the process. Bottom lane, meanwhile, Fair B. Oh, that was close. Sumail almost gets a solo kill on the support Night Stalker as EG will take a tower. It just feels like EG are having their way with Fnatic right now, finding kills, getting away from ganks, and getting towers to go with it. And the higher, uh oh. Static Storm is available, don't snare him up. Arrow is there, they don't need oh the Static my Storm. God. Sumail secures the kill. There's so much synergy between their heroes here. Yeah? Like, so easy to set up. Naga, Mirana, Ushik, like so many stuns. There's no getting out of that. The fact they're saying to spam the chat will really suggest EG know they're on a if, roll if and Fnatic in control. If I going to win the Clash, like the 5v5, they can't split farm because it's so easy for them to catch very difficult to play. Like they, they have to use their Chrono and Luna Ultimate and to get more than one kill. If they get one kill, a pick off and nothing happens after that, it's gonna be very bad for them. Fnatic are truly in trouble. They need at least a win out of these one of these two games against EG to stand a chance of making it to the main event. Even then relying on Infamous losing their final series. But now game one is looking very tough. QO trying to chase back some Necro books. <laughs> Damn it, I'm like, I'm like, he's chasing. I'm like, can they actually just kill him here? I don't uh, know if EG realizes he's alone. Think, no, they have a ward here. Yeah. They see the Luna, they see the Void. He's tanky with this Vanguard. Oh, they, they, they up, know so. the Void was uh, nearby because he walked past this Void here. The rest of Fnatic in the jungle 
uh, standing on a ward as well. So EG's vision control, giving them full info as to what is going on right now. I would imagine EG. Level 3 Necro book back up, shapeshift online. They may just look to smoke, fight, take Roshan. There are so many different things they can do. All of which will lead to increasing their lead over Fnatic right now. But Fnatic, they need to get a good team fight themselves. The Chrono, the Eclipse, get these ultimates working in tandem. Looks like, I mean, Ajit really needs this level 2 ultimate, I feel. It's a pretty big boost in the damage output of Eclipse when you can get that level 12. It's quite there, though. Things are not looking good for Fnatic. They pop the darkness. They try to. They're gonna try to make a play here with the Chrono up and the Luna. Like I said, they need to put. Though. They need to put all their big spells together. Each you see them. They're sitting right oh. on top of another Dire Ward. Oh no! He put the Sentry. Moving far. Oh. What did EG want to do? Do they try and defend? It looks like they are just going to go bottom. If anything, the Lycan is going to push a whole lot faster, but they say no. They Forget gonna... bottom. They're smoking. Uh, oh no. Potential. You think that there's Link. no wards here? They get the void, the fight is over. Yep, and they see him. They, he is standing right on top of a ward. Necrobook is summoned. They likely want to find a higher here. The pings are coming out. A higher will not get hit by the arrow. Gets the time walk away. A higher alive for now, but he gets mana burned. He is not going to escape oh, this okay, one. Fight is over. The sleep is being used, no escape, and whoa, Echo Slam on three. EG hit the perfect team fight. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. It's an impressive showing of team fight prowess from the boys in blue, <laughs> but it was made easy by this Observe Ward. They saw absolutely everything, knew where the Void was. He even managed to get the initial time walk away after the arrow time scouted walk him. Into but, the Lycan? <laughs> yep, exactly. Into a Lycan Necrobook that just chewed him up. White fanatic, secure Roshan. You know what they say usually? If you don't find the ward, you can never be sure that there's no vision. If you put a sentry down and you don't see the ward sometimes, you can never feel safe. Yeah. I mean, that sentry didn't but, really yeah, feel like it was yeah, to find sentry... a ward, it was like to scout an invis here. Oh, I guess it's just for the moonlight. Yeah, they, the moonlight they weren't shadow. trying to. Yeah, yeah, you go right. They weren't trying to find this ward. We know there's a ward, obviously, fanatic <laughs> did not. They, in hindsight, they're probably maybe going to be second guessing that fight and the vision. Factor. Yeah, because if you think about this ward, right, that EG place, like you generally place this if you're on the Radiant side. Solo kill from Sumail with the Yules. Totem, Fissure into Yules into another Totem. He's now Invis up and DJ doesn't have detection, nor does Febby, that Moonlight Shadow enabling Sumail just to play around, not here to mention the Aegis. Here comes Creed too. Yeah, here's Back the, up. the pick up hero. Hero is just going to go in looking for the kill, forcing out a glimpse. Higher. Oh, he missed the dilation. Yeah. Still in trouble, gets jumped on by the time walk. EG may just look to fight this one. Sumail has got the Aegis if he wants to get aggressive. The Howl coming out of it. Low on mana though is this oh, Shaker. Fissure, but no mana. Lycan is here though. Arrow not going to land, but I don't think that matters. Ortiz should be able to clean them up. Nice defensive Chrono, but it's just that. It's a defensive Chrono. Going to help bring down the Aegis here, but QO out of mana from the Necrobook. Could be in some trouble here. Has a lot of reactive armor, but he gets stunned up. The magic damage will definitely be enough to bring him down and they won't even need the proper control. Straightforward kills as Universe gets himself a mega kill streak. 9, 1 and 7 on the Mirana. The entire EG lineup, all three cores, topping the net worth here and looking to seal the deal here in game. Still haven't seen a, chrono, a big chrono into... At least a two-man chrono into the Eclipse. It still has to happen for them. I think that's the best way for them to win a fight. They need to be able to somehow use the Stalker. The Stalker has to give vision, like Scout. Or ha if you have to die for, <laughs> for the team during the fights, you have to do it and allow the Void to get the chrono. Otherwise, I don't see them winning a fight at all. Like, there's no way at this point. Two-man chrono, I'm not even sure if it, that's enough now. Because if you don't get the Naga, then he's just going to song. And yeah, we, we saw that last top five. Not for the chrono, but just the Eclipse gets thrown out, instantly sleep, and the sleep set up the Disruptor Ultimate and the Echo Slam. Yeah, and he has, he has mech now, too. It's very farmed on the support. Yeah. Going to be able to repair some of the damage. Uh, I guess if he's able to get a mech and a pipe, a Grease Pipe, <laughs> super hard for Fnatic to do damage. Because they're going to rely on the Lunar Eclipse the most of the Like Shadow being used. It is spotted as Arteezy just farms up and pushes the mid lane. EG 
Perhaps knowing slightly where Fnatic are. Kuo gonna chain himself forward here. More Radiant sentries. Kuo goes right into crit here. Crit needs to make a decision. Did not get the glimpse off as he got silence. Could be in some trouble. Waiting for that silence to wear off. The Howl gonna help keep oh, him alive. Oh and Kuo God. could be in trouble. In snare. Arrow. Starstorm to follow it up. He's getting very low here. The damage is not Gosh. quite gonna be there. But he's glimpsed back. Perfect kill. Off to the side. Sumail killing off Febby. The Shrine gonna not really do a whole lot for him as it is 3 EG kills and... 3 EG kills plus 300 HP at ha from Howl. That's why the Disruptor did not die there. Yep. <laughs> that's even... Yeah, that's a level 3 Howl. <laughs> uh, poor Kyo. It's been a, a rough game for him. Playing mid lane in what is a close winnable matchup but then there's a Howl. It's just like, that's this, just not this fair. This is so annoying, man. A nice Stalker, you're, you're supposed to be able to kill stuff at night and then there's Howl. Great way of playing against it, and we, we, I just feel like this is becoming a trend in the meta here. Like, if your first Night Soak is considered probably the most desired full position hero right now, but when Lycan's in the pool, it is one of the best first two picks as a counter to it. But then again, if uh, the early game wasn't so bad, maybe I don't know. You just feel like it's not only because of the Lycan pick; it's because the early game was bad for the Night Stalker too. That's why it, it felt hard. Well, Fnatic, 4-man smoke, this well and truly feels like the last hurrah in some ways. Can they the get the scan? They're gonna walk into the scan in just a second. Can they though. get the big chrono? Uh -oh. Being revealed, they have an idea of where they are. They're hiding in the tree. Sumail needs to not get spotted here. Does look like he is evading. No, they're pinging them now. Sumail blinks out. Whoa! Solo Chronosphere, Luna oh, walks Luna in. Is in the uh -oh. chrono. Can they save Sumail? He's got a Yule Scepter. He's got a regen rune as well. Needs to force out and use oh, this in the sleep. Sumail. The silence, the disruptor. There we go, catches the two on the side. Ohio's Void is trapped. He may not have a Chronosphere, but he cannot do anything here. The Echo Sign gonna help get the first couple of kills in EG. They're all full HP. Not a single kill for Fnatic in these last couple of team fights. As QO will get taken out as well. And is GG. Team wiped as Sumail will clean up the last one. Great execution. The Naga countering the Void just to perfection there. Sumail fading countless spells as EG take a dominant game on 24 minutes, 30 to 4. It doesn't get much cleaner than that for EG. Not sure if the Night nice Stalker should stay bot though. I think he maybe could have done more if he moves. Because they, they used three heroes at bottom against the two, but they were like constantly one for one trade. Yep. So they weren't like winning they weren't winning the lanes. If you put three heroes down there, you better make sure you win that lane. Yeah, they had a 3v2, they don't win it. They may have just done a 2v2 and looked and to trade even. They had yeah. Night Stalker help the mid lane. Or play top. Because they're doing 3 people against 2, using 3 against yeah. the bottom. The level, the leveling of EG, because they have 2-1-2, two, two, they are getting more levels between the two supports. The uh, Disruptor, he, he couldn't fully zone the Void out. We but saw the Void, poor man shield, he got an Orb of Venom. Yeah. He was bullying the lane, he does end up dying because they find the time to kill him. But if he had some help there... Yeah, he was trying to kill the Disruptor, yeah. that's why he died. But at the end of the day, I think Fnatic needs to maybe consider all this more. Like, is securing one lane better, or I play the other lanes? Maybe I can help too. So these are the things that you have to consider a lot when all you're right. playing a position for. We'll see what the approach is going to be for game number two. We'll take a quick break and come back with more EG versus Fnatic.